Hello, welcome to this uh, demo video dedicated to the PyQuest development environment. My name is José Almeida, I'm Technical Sales Director at Cisco, and during this video I will give you an overview of the PyQuest development tools. Before starting with the actual demonstration on the PyQuest tools, I will start with an overview of what is PyQuest and give you some ideas about what we will be doing and what I will show you during this demo. If we start with a brief overview of PyQuest, I guess the keywords are PyQuest is a certifiable real-time operating system. It's not only a real-time operating system, it's also enabling embedded virtualization through hypervisor technology. What PyQuest is doing is software partitioning in order to guarantee a perfect isolation between application running in a specific container. In order to do the software partitioning, PyQuest used time and space partitioning as well as priority-based scheduling. Well, PyQuest is an hypervisor, so it enables you also to run multiple guest operating system. You will see in the PyQuest terminology we call guest operating system personalities, because a guest operating system can be in different flavors. It can be a very simple API, like it would be the case for PyQuest native, and it can be a complete runtime environment and complex operating system, such as Linux or Android. One other feature of PyQuest is it's highly portable. And you see here it can run on different types of architecture. Intel, PowerPC, ARM, all flavors of ARM, MIPS and Spark. This is because PyQuest only depends on very fundamental features of the CPUs. And PyQuest is certifiable. So it's not only a real-time operating system, it can be certified according to different standards safety, security for different domains, avionics, industrial, automation, transportation, D178, EN15128, IAC61508, ISO 262662, etc., etc., depending on your needs. What about multi-core certification? All the SOCs which are available in the market are now coming with multi-core, but can you really use this multi-core option of these chips? PyQuest is the first operating system ever certified according to EN15128 up to SEAL4. SEAL4 being the highest certification level that you can reach on a railway system. So what I will show you in this demo is how the PyQuest configuration tools are working and also how to do basic things like adding new partitions. So the final goal of this demonstration is to create a system where we will have two PyQuest native partitions, one which is used in order to run the development tools, one which is used in order to run a very simple Hello World application, and next to it I will have also a POSIX application which is also doing an Hello World application. During this demo I will not use real hardware. What I will use is a simulation environment called QMU. The nice advantage of QMU is that this is a very simple environment to set up. It will be easy for me to run my application, to debug it, and only at the end when you are looking at real-time behavior, then you will actually need to go to the real target. So the setup that we'll do today during this demo is the following. We'll have, of course, the PyQuest kernel, and on top of that, three different partitions. The service partition is here in order to run some debug tools. The two other partitions next to it, the PyQuest native as well as the POSIX, are real applications. There will be simple application, but real application. And the goal of PyQuest is, of course, to create a separation between these different partitions. So you will have no influence between the different partitions. Okay, so what you see now on this screen is the Codeo development environment. This is an IDE for PyQuest, which is based on Eclipse. 
And what I will just do now is to create my very first project. So let's go. All I have to do is press this button, create a new PyQuest project. Then I have several options in terms of project, the different type of projects which are available. The very first project that we'll create is an integration project. Okay, this integration project needs to have a name, so just let's call it first project. Okay, when you're creating a project with PyQuest you need to select a template. The idea of the template is you will have a pre-configured environment which will be relatively close to the configuration that you want to build. So what I told you before is that I want to create a project which is using a PyQuest native as well as the POSIX environment. So what I will do is I will say, okay, I want to create a project which is based on this template. This template called devel means that we have all the development environment plus one POSIX partition. Okay? And we'll have tools which allow you me to monitor the target, which will allow to debug the target, etc. etc. So let's do next. The next thing that will happen is that you will have to select the target that you plan to use. So let's just do, okay, I want to use an ARM v7 and the target that I really want to use is a QMU for ARM v7, okay, because this is my simulation environment. That's all I have to do in this case. Okay, so the basic project is created it's actually defining the target that will be used. It's defining the development tools that are actually available on the target. I will not go through the details of each of these tools just because I will have other videos explaining that. And finally, I have one application which is executing, which is this application is running inside a POSIX partition and there is a POSIX application running there. Okay. The next thing is, okay, this partition POSIX requires a binary. So what I will do is to create a binary, which is an application project that will execute in this partition. Okay, let me go again and say, okay, now I want to create a PyQuest project again. Okay, this PyQuest project will be called maybe POSIX, and this is based on the POSIX project. Okay, this is a type of personality you see, there are different type of personalities which are available. Now if I go to the demo, okay, again I have several applications, I will just use an Elo application for POSIX, which is a basic simple uh, application. Let me just finish because this is for ARM V8. Okay, so now my POSIX project is created, okay, all I have to do now is build everything. So let me just do a make install for my application and a make boot in order to create a bootable image. Okay, these have been created. Now I want to execute this project on the target. Well, I need to define here a remote system and what I will do is, okay, I want to create a new remote system connection for PyQuest. Okay, I need to give a name to my target. My target in this case will be maybe called QMU. This is using the latest version of PyQuest, uh, which is 4.1. I need to select the integration project, telling I want to run the output of this integration project on a QMU simulator. Okay. The rest of the configuration is just correct, so let's just press finish. And now I'm ready to start my simulation. So let's just press the start simulation. And what you see on this screen, which is actually the console of my target, is PyQuest booting up. Okay, some information, ne virtual network is being initialized, and I have a POSIX application which is just starting and started with information about the PID of the POSIX process. If I go here into my development environment, I have one information here, which is the monitor. So let me just connect to the monitor. The monitor is just one of the tools. And what I see are information such as, okay, what are the different partitions which are executing? One of them is POSIX. 
The other one is the service partition, which contains my debug information. I can, for example, look at the different tasks or threads which are executing in POSIX. Okay, you see information about the actual threads executing in POSIX. You see number of information about the status. What you can also do is just say, okay, I want to restart the partition. And then, of course, if you go back to the console, you see that POSIX is really stopped. Okay, no more messages. Of course, you can restart this POSIX application. Let's restart it. Okay, and you see again the different threads which are coming back. If I look again at the console, of course, I see my POSIX application, which have been restarted and which is executing. Okay, so as you see, this was pretty simple. Now let me go through another step, which is, I only have two partitions, let me add one additional partition. So let's just stop the simulation, because this is not needed anymore. And now what I want to do is to add one partition containing a PyCoS native application. So let's start adding a partition. I want to add a partition, so let's just select the proper template. Here I have partitions. I can add just an empty partition. Okay, I need to give it a name. Let's call it PyCoS native Partition, okay, my partition has been added, okay, this only creates a container, now I need to add one application inside this container, so let me go back here, add another element, which will be now PyCoS native, and what I want to have is a PyCoS native process, okay, a PyCoS native process needs to run inside a partition, so I need to select on which partition this application will run, and I want it to run on the PyCoS native partition. Okay, really that's it. I have added one application which runs inside one partition. I just need to save and then rebuild the system. Now I can go and start again the target. Target is starting up. Okay. What you see now, if you go again to the monitor, is okay. I now have my service partition, my POSIX partition, and my PyQuest native partition. I can stop the POSIX partition, and if I go back to the console, I see two different kind of messages now on the console. This one, which is coming from the PyQuest native partition, and this one, which was coming from the POSIX application. And you see that the POSIX application was initially sending out some messages, and now it's finished. Only the PyQuest native application is starting. I can try and do it the other way around, which is to stop the PyQuest native and restart the POSIX. Restart the partition. Okay, and stop that one. So, stop executing. What's now on the console? Only the POSIX application is executing. This is it for this very first video. I hope you enjoyed this demo. I will publish additional videos which will show much more advanced features of PacOS. In the meantime, visit the Cisco website www.cisco.com You'll find a lot of useful information such as customer testimony, white papers, use case description, etc. Thanks again for watching this video and stay tuned, there will be additional demos available soon. Thank you.